Hi, my name is Kelsey Jones and this is my ed prep interview. Through school, I always struggled with math. It just did not make sense to me the way English and history always did. And it wasn't necessarily that I didn't want to learn it. It was just, it just didn't click for me. And I was always the one who asked the most questions. I would stay before and after school for extra guidance. I would do the extra homework problems that were offered and I used the Math Resource Center as much as possible. And I think what helped me the most was my teacher's guidance, their patience, and their understanding. I knew that they tried their best to help me in every possible way that they knew how. And I think that will impact my future teaching and the way I do teach my students in the sense that I will offer my students the same guidance, patience, and understanding that I was offered. And I will use every resource I possibly know and then I will go to someone else and see if they can help because I don't think a student should be given up on just because they don't understand something. And going through school, I think the teacher that impacted me the most would be my fourth grade teacher, Miss Hogan. She was so fun and vibrant and she was very invested in us as her students in the way that we succeed and how we succeed. Um, she was one of those that if you didn't learn something one way, she had three or four more ways that she could teach you. And I think that is super important as a teacher because we, we as teachers need to understand that every student does not learn the same way. Every student is different. And we as teachers need to have those resources and have that fun and inviting energy to connect with our students to help them succeed further. And that was something that Ms. Hogan was always offering was her energy and her positivity and her encouragement. And that was a big thing in my success as I went forward and me deciding to actually be a teacher. Um, I think my strength would be the fact that I'm very empathetic towards others. Um, I am able to try my best to see their perspective and try my best to put myself in their shoes whether I've been there or not. Um, I'm a great listener. I love listening to people. Um, and I think that is very important as a teacher is to try your best to understand where your students are coming from and what they're going through. Because when we figure out how to be empathetic towards our uh, students, we can better figure out how to teach them and how to relate the subject matter to maybe what they're going through to help them further understand it. Um, I think my one of my weaknesses would be the fact that I can be impulsive. I'm one of those that's like, yes, let's go. Um, I don't necessarily think things through or think the steps out properly like, okay, this is what we need to do first, second, and third before we can reach that goal. I'm kind of like, okay, the, this is what I want, like this is what we want to do, let's just go do it. And kind of like a trial and error type of a situation. And as I get older, I am learning that, okay, things need to be planned, things need to be thought out. You need to think of, you want to do this, so here's plan A, plan B, and plan C type of a situation. And I think that will help me as a teacher because it will help me when planning lessons um, and interacting with my students and figuring out how to teach my students something like, okay, they don't understand it this way, but here's my backup plan and here's my backup backup plan. And I think that is super important for teachers and individuals in themselves to be able to plan forward and maybe not be so impulsive sometimes. When it comes to my relationship with my students, I do want to have a relationship with my students in a professional manner. Um, I will always be their teacher to them. Um, I won't be anything else. Um, but I think if I see them in the grocery store or they see me, like I'm completely okay with like going up and saying, hi, how are you? Um, how is your sport event? How's soccer going? How's your family? Type of a situation. I think it is important to have a relationship with your student. That way they know that they can come to you with any problems or anything that they need to talk about. Um, when it comes to social media though, I do not believe in teachers being friends with students on social media. Um, my social media account is my private life. That is who I am outside the classroom. That is not who, my, who I want my students to know me as. I want them to see me as their teacher. Um, and I will make that clear to my parents and the students that my social media account is my social media account. Um, they will not friend request me or follow me. It's just I want to be their teacher first in a professional sense. And that is what I am to their student. Thank you all so much for listening.